Hey everyone, Shadow Rockets here, and on today's episode I wanted to get into a math concept, which is going to be the duality of points, lines, and planes. Now to start off with, I kind of wanted to draw a Cartesian coordinate system, or classical Cartesian coordinate system, with the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis, all of which go off to infinity, and put together you can actually use them to describe three-dimensional space. Now I went ahead and drew a point here, uh, just to kind of emphasize that we're to describe a point in 3D space, we would go down the x-axis to a certain distance, out the y-axis to a certain distance, and then we would actually also draw up or down to the z or along the z-axis to describe the height of the point. But I didn't really do a very good job because technically, or at least to my eyes, it looks like this is on the x and the y-axis only. Now another concept with this, I'm going to go ahead and draw the Cartesian coordinate system in the upper left hand corner so that I can keep it here throughout the rest of the video. Um, but using these concepts, uh, using the Cartesian coordinate system, we commonly describe uh, robotic motion, uh, any sort of motion, any sort of location, you can describe any physical system. I'll, I'll make it that broad. Um, but to kind of gain or build vocabulary here, I'm going to redraw the point. Uh, in fact, I'm going to introduce the second point to the system and connect them with what we're going to call a line. And a line is literally just an infinite number of points in a straight axis, uh, you could put it along any axis, x or y, or down the middle of them, any direction, so long as it goes to infinity in either direction, which is actually a very important concept, even though infinity is not a number, uh, it's a very important concept in math and engineering in general. Now I'm also going to draw uh, three points here and create a plane by drawing three lines. The three lines are not necessary. I just wanted to visually represent a plane and kind of show that it goes to infinity in all directions, but it is flat. It only takes up two dimensions out of three-dimensional space. So uh, essentially you can draw a plane on the xy axis, and it goes to infinity in negative y, positive y, negative x, positive x, but it doesn't go in the z direction at all. If we wanted to the z direction, we could do draw one, or I'll draw one there in the z y axis or y z axis, your own personal preference. But it doesn't go in the x direction, so that's that's also very important that we recognize that planes are flat, essentially infinitely flat as well. Um, there are many many examples, unfortunately, of having to switch between points, lines, and planes in this direction or in this in this method. Um, I'm also going to draw two lines here uh, in order to show that we really only needed two lines to define a plane, uh, not necessarily three. Um, we just happen to get three lines from three points. But, I mean, two technically goes to infinity in a flat uh, two-dimensional space as well. So, two lines make a plane. Now, in order to further progress this, I'm going to draw a plane, and actually I'm going to draw two planes, and unfortunately I'm not the best artist, but I, I hope this gets the point across that two planes going along different axes, uh, when they intersect each other, they actually define a line. Uh, it is a infinitely long line as the planes go in every direction infinitely, uh, well, two directions infinitely, I should say. and. So this is a, a perfectly good definition of a line. Um, I'll just kind of draw a little arrow between them here to show that this is the duality aspect. It, it means both. Um, and here I'm going to show that actually where three points make a plane, you can actually put three planes together. And it's really hard to draw the third plane here. I'm going to draw the intersection of the first two and then the third one kind of treat it as halfway up the two of those so that you can kind of get a little intersection at the halfway point. But where those three planes meet is actually a singular point. So three points make a plane, three planes make a point. 
Anyway, friends, I thought that that was just a super interesting little concept, you know, how two points make a line, two lines make a point, all sorts of stuff like that. I We use it a lot in robotics where uh, you have maybe a line, but you need uh, a line describing maybe a robotic arm, but you want to know the velocity and acceleration of the arm at this certain point to calculate a moment or to maybe the arm is holding something and you don't want it slinging around, you know, any any sort of aspect, collisions and whatnot. So uh, this is this is essentially robots one and two. So here you go, a <laughs> good little good little college lesson for you. Uh, even though this is this is a very very broad um, sample of what we do. But anyway, friends, if you learned something, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Chatter Rockets out. Thank you